One of the most corrupt politicians in America, Duncan Hunter, ran an ad against his Democratic opponent, Amar Kampanajar, and this ad is so stupid and so over the top and so bigoted that it almost seems fake. Amar Kapanajar is working to infiltrate Congress. He's used three different names to hide his family's ties to terrorism. His grandfather masterminded the Munich Olympic Massacre. His father said they deserve to die. A Palestinian Mexican millennial Democrat named Amar Kapanajar doesn't get his support from the people of San Diego. He is being supported by CARE and the Muslim Brotherhood. This is a well-orchestrated plan. Amar Kapanajar, a risk we can't ignore. I'm Duncan Hunter and I approve this message. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. Every part of that was grotesque. And stupid. It was just stupid. Okay, so... Look at the framing. The framing is, and, um... If you didn't get the ad, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's not even close to subtle. <clears throat> Trying to paint him as a terrorist. At worst, at best, a terrorist sympathizer. Uh, it said he's trying to infiltrate. He's a Palestinian Mexican Democrat, millennial. He's supported by the Muslim Brotherhood. What? And um, the don't let him put you at risk with this well-orchestrated plan. And then at the end, you see um, Duncan Hunter dressed in his uh, military gear. By the way, when he was in Iraq, an illegal offensive war against a country that didn't attack us. But, so do you see what he's doing there? He's trying to portray Amar Kampanajar as a terrorist or terrorist sympathizer, and he's trying to be an open and outright and flagrant bigot in order to try to scare the Republican base into voting for him. Now remember, Duncan Hunter has a lot to distract from. Um, go back and watch the segment if you haven't yet, but Duncan Hunter was actually nabbed for over-the-top corruption. I mean, uh, corruption that's as over-the-top as this ad is. It, you know, he was spending campaign money for himself and his wife in gratuitous, asinine ways, almost to the point where you're thinking, like, how can you be this dumb? I mean, you're really dense, aren't you, dude? Uh, but, I mean, call this what it is, man. He's playing identity politics to try to get elected. And the funny thing is, Amar Kampanachar has made a point to not play identity politics. Go watch the interview he did, or actually, I think we covered it. He did an interview uh, with Cenk Uger on TYT interviews, and he said, listen, this campaign... Uh, we're giving people something to vote for, not just something to vote against. He's a Bernie Sanders-style candidate. He takes no corporate PAC money. He's for Medicare for all, living wage. I mean, you go down the, the list of all the important uh, populist left policies, that's what he's running on. He hasn't said a goddamn thing about identity. But who's playing identity politics? The far right. Duncan Hunter. His supporters are playing identity politics. And just outright lying. The Muslim bro... Muslim Brotherhood support. What the fuck are you talking about? The Muslim Brotherhood supports him. Again, trying to scare uh, Republican base voters into voting for him because they think, oh my God, it's a well orchestrated plan and is putting the country at risk. So he's actually trying to argue, like, oh, he's a he's like a Manchurian candidate. He's like a stealth jihadist. This is what you do when you have no substance to run on. Duncan Hunter does nothing for the people as a congressman. He, again, he's one of the most corrupt politicians in the country. He has nothing to run on for the people. So what does he do? Smear. Smear in the most stunningly obtuse and gross and bigoted way possible. That's what this is. It's, it's a smear job. And, um... I don't know about you guys, but that makes me wish I could vote for a Mark Camp in a jar. Unfortunately, I'm obviously not in his district, but for those of you who are, you better get out there and vote, man. I haven't seen a clear election ever.
Like, I haven't seen a clear example of, oh, this one's not even close. This is like good versus evil. Amar Kampanajar being good, Duncan Hunter being evil, which I know flips his ad on its head, but that's the reality of the situation. One guy's going to fight for your health care, for your wages. Um, he's going to fight for a new New Deal. He's going to try to improve the country. The other guy has nothing but uh, smears and calls his opponent a terrorist and pretends like he's a stealth jihadist and plays identity politics to get elected because that's all he's got. Why would you bring up that his background is Palestinian and Mexican? Why would you bring that up? What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? It has nothing to do with anything. You brought it up because you're playing identity politics. And guys, that's an important point that I don't think is made nearly as much as, much as it should be, which is... It's often portrayed like, oh, only the left plays identity politics. Well, that's not true. The people on the far right do play identity politics also, and you just saw it. It's white identity politics. It's like, I'm going to try to scare you to vote against this scary uh, brown person, and uh, you better go do it now. He's got nothing to say. He's got nothing of substance to say. So he smears. That's honestly one of the grossest ad ads I've ever seen in politics, and I've seen a lot of them.